one can you two and we were thinking that first of all we should introduce ourselves <laughs> so i'm an artist and i own one can you two and we make greeting cards we do paint we paint things and we make greeting cards and calendars and we made the planner that you have so and then this is colleen hi i work with customers and i help make sure that everybody stays happy and also, she's a really talented artist too. And she was an art teacher. So we thought this would be good for us to both talk. Mm -hmm. The funny thing about me and Colleen is that I am very tall. And I'm not. <laughs> she's very small, so. <laughs> uh, so we know you guys are all home with your parents and you have our planner and we thought that we would like post some videos that would help you um, figure out good ways to use the planners. So we have one right here. Yep. So what our company does is one of our artists painted the cover and we printed it and we make it and then we sell it all over the world. But this year we had some extras so we gave them all to you guys so that you could use them while you were at home and you could use them for schoolwork, for doing creative things because doing art's really important, um, especially when things are hard and confusing. Art's a really good way to be, to deal with what's going on and to be soothing and all that kind of stuff. So Colleen's going to talk about some cool ways to use our planners. Yeah. So the awesome thing about our planners is that they don't have lines, which means that each one of the boxes for every day can be used for so many different things. You can use it to make lists, things to draw, things to do. You could make a list of all of the chores that your parents make you do or all of the projects that you've gotten done. Um, you can use it like on a time level so you can say like at nine o'clock it's time to go for a walk and at 10 o'clock it's time to read for an hour. You can plan out your whole day so that you're organized just like at school and you can have a, um, a schedule and you can have a plan for what you do every day. Yeah. So. Or you can use it at the very end of the day to think about all of the things that you're thankful for that day or all of the great things that happened. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a great thing to think like I to write down just really simple things that you're thankful for. Like I'm thankful for my dog. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful that I have um, Cheetos at home. <laughs> I would be thankful if I had Cheetos. I mm -hmm. love Cheetos. I don't have Cheetos at home. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have celery or something? Really <laughs> at home? Granola, so much granola. <laughs> oh, yeah, cool. Um, things that I am thankful for are like music and Netflix, let's be honest. Um, and I'm also thankful that I really know how to entertain myself when I'm bored. So mm -hmm. what I do when I'm bored is I do a lot of art. I draw and I paint. And truth be told, a tiny little bit of me is pretty excited about having to be at home where I really don't have anything to do but do drawing and painting. Because think about some really great idea might come out of that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So we're going to use this channel to talk to you guys about... Um, like things to do and just like show you some little projects that you can do in our planners. And Colleen, because she's an art teacher and has lots of good skills for talking to kiddos about how to draw something really simply, she's going to draw some stuff for you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, let's see, we can, you can do so many other things besides draw in your planner as well. Um, you can practice your handwriting or practice your cursive. Um, you can do math problems if you love math. I love math, so mm -hmm. I always do math problems. Um, you can make patterns out of the dot grid that, that there's printed, um, or you could play games. Um, things like completing the square or tic-tac-toe or hangman. Oh, Hangman's great. such a good one when you're home. And it's good for like restaurants and stuff too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, we always take a notebook when we go to a restaurant and write stuff out. So even after all this is over, that might be a great thing to do mm -hmm. with your planner. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we would love to hear from you guys um, about anything that you would like to learn how to draw or um, if you need help with anything. But we're just going to do some short videos um, to start out with about drawing and then maybe some games and stuff. And we'll we'll try to post a few now and a, maybe a couple every other day or so. So, um, yeah, we'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment if you want. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Happy tall. staycation. She's small. That's our closer. Yeah. <laughs>